the names of all the Pokemon on this team says more about me than I would like, I think. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to our Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke! We did defeat our rival, uh, short, a short while ago, and, uh, Handjob's actually catching up to everybody else on the crew, which is super sweet. We're gonna go up to, uh, to the second floor here and see if I can't find somebody to fight. I think I'm gonna need the Sylph Scope though, so really I should go to Celadon. But, uh, I want to see if I can get some items and some money. Some money! Even we could not identify the wayward ghosts. A sylph scope might be able to help. Yeah, about that. Um, I don't know. Um, be gone, malevolent spirit! Whoa. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Channel of Patricia! A Tauros, dude. Fuck. That thing is mighty. Mighty as shit! But it's level 22. It did intimidate me though, so I'm gonna get Handjob out of here immediately. And we'll bring in Elvis. Because he's got that rock type resistance boy, unless this fucking thing has Earthquake. Because that's basically all Generation 1 was. Is, uh, you know, everybody had a Tauros on their team, and you just spam fucking Earthquake with it. Or Double Edge, I guess, if you knew you were gonna win the fight. But mostly Earthquake. It was horrifying. Because, uh, crits were based on speed in Generation 1. So you, you'd have basically just Tauros and Persian and fucking Zapdos. Like, all the fucking fastest Pokemon you could get, because nothing else really mattered. Uh, and Persian had, like, a 100% critical chance with her Slash. So you'd probably see Persian more than Tauros, actually. But, I, I saw both of them, uh, entirely too much. Um, now we're confused because I thrashed like an idiot, so I'm gonna try and bite it. I don't really want to switch back into hand job. Yeah, that was a stupid idea. A stupid idea, Dayton! Why'd you do that? I don't know, bro. Just fucking sometimes my head and I can't. <laughs> That's alright. Everything's fine. I'm still confused though, so maybe not. There's the bite. KO it, please! Thank you so much. And, uh... Yeah, I thought Handjob was gonna level there. Damn it. <laughs> At least we defeated him. The spirit left. We got 1,500 Poke. Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Make a little money. Kick, 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 wah! Are you speaking English? We're in Japan! <laughs> oh. Oh, a fan fee. How cute. I almost caught a Donphin earlier, which is the evolved form of fan fee. But, um, yeah. I forgot to buy Pokeballs. Remember that? Remember that shit? That was good, huh? Oh, yeah. We're Pokemon masters. We really are, I promise. <sighs> well, I don't want to sit out here and try and beat through this thing's gigantic defense, so I'll switch into Clam Slam. The fucking veteran of the team. The goddamn MVP these days. Yep, just tackle it again while I'm fucking drinking my coffee. Oh, and while I'm talking about drinking my coffee. It's fine, everything's fine. Wouldn't have KO'd it with one water pulse anyways. Probably, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just really thirsty, I need caffeine. If that wasn't completely obvious. More caffeine! <sighs> All right, good job. Clam jam? Clam jam, hand slob? <laughs> I'm proud of both of you. <laughs> Clam Jam and Hand Slob. Dude, that's the name of this episode for sure. Alright, I'm gonna get out Pokemon Tower just because I know I'm not gonna be able to fucking do anything. It might seem like I'm wandering around like a chicken with my head cut off, but there's actually a, a completely legitimate reason as to why I'm doing things the way I am. Because if I complete the Pokemon League challenge after all this and then turn my emulator upside down... <laughs> It'll, uh, it'll unlock Luigi and Yoshi as playable Pokemons. It's pretty cool, bro. Trust me. There's a lookout spot upstairs. The view is magnificent. Wow. Let's go up here. But Professor Oak's aides are up here. No, they're not. My Pokemon's ashes is a stone Pokemon tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. Well, that's quite nice of you. Thank you, little girl. It's a move called Return. If you treat your Pokemon good, it will return your love by working its hardest in battle. 
So we could actually get rid of uh, Clam Slam's tackle and give it return if if I were so inclined. I'm not, necessarily. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, I got a bite here. Well, you're gonna get bit again in the face with my Pokemon's mouth. <laughs> here comes Slack off, everybody look out. Oh, not bigger off, Slack off. That's less, uh, less terrifying. I'm gonna go ahead and tickle it because it does have a decently high attack because every other turn it stops doing shit. It gets truant, you see? Oh, tickle low is defense as well. That's actually pretty cool. And now I've been yawned. Mmm, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's get Tranny back out here. She, he, has been doing work ever since we picked him up. My God. And he's just loafing around, being all truant. And he takes a side beam to the face. It's all over. It's all over. Even though I wasn't hitting his defensive side, which was the side that I lowered. Because you gotta change things in the middle of, uh, in the middle of combat, you see? To change up your strategies like chess or something. But with horrible monsters. <laughs> Alright, handjob's back out here. He's got a Ladian, which looks really, really cool. But, uh, it's not much for the combat stats, unfortunately. I mean, Ambipom isn't really either. <laughs> But I like them both just for how they look. Handjob will win out in the end, just because he is my Pokemon. And Ladian has like nothing as far as attack stats, whereas you can kind of train an Ambipom up to be a decent scouter or something like that. Ladian's basically only good for screening. Bring it out in the NU tier and set up some screens and then it dies, usually. <laughs> I've not had a good experience with it, but it could be like Mr. Mime if the game throws me one and it fucking turns into a champ and I'll roll with it, you know what I mean? I'm not too good. I'm not too proud. And he's got a Kingler. Oh, Kingler's for noobs, bro. Sword stance and agility on Kingler and then you'll fucking just sweep people's whole team. Oh, it's so good. His vice grip's actually doing pretty good damage and he's hardened up now. So I'm going to switch out because I don't think I'm going to win out in this fight. Um, Tranny's got a, a grass attack as well. It's all purpose, you see? You just can't stop it. And if the vice grip does too much, I can set up a reflect. It does not do too much. I'll probably KO it right now with this thing. Yeah, bitch. 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 <laughs> all right. Kingler got out of there. He got bitch slapped with the big old claw hand. Tranny's up to level 30. My goodness. Doing the thing. Just doing it right up. Just a small fry. That's right, but I still swarm circles around you, boy. Does that make sense? Hang on, my line stack. Doesn't matter. Excuses, bro. Excuses. Jesus doesn't make excuses. <laughs> Be patient. Fishing is a waiting game. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean, by the way. Jesus doesn't make excuses. I mean, he doesn't. He could have been like, I don't want to die on the cross. I'm running away. But he was like, nah, I'm going to do this for you, bros. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, so he's got a grump pick. I'm going to go ahead and astonish it. It's going to be super effective. Hopefully he won't hit me too hard. Uh, or he could just flinch. That would be great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. No problem. We'll fucking roll that dice again. Unless he has something super hardcore like... Psychic or some shit. He might have Psybeam, and I'm kind of nervous about how much that's gonna do, but we seem to be flinching the shit out of it, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> In the end, I think everything is fine. Goodbye, Grump Pig! Goodbye! <laughs> and lots of delicious XP for my little. I mean, he's not even that little anymore. I'm gonna leave him in here for the Totodile, Mr. Handjob, and. I will actually switch him out to Acorn. Kind of forgot. We haven't seen Acorn much uh, last episode or this episode. So just remind me that you still exist, okay? That you're still here and you're still uh, fighting for us. Oh, he's got cut. That's right. That's right. He's our HM slave. Hmm. Should I cut or mega kick? I'll cut. I only have five mega kicks, dude. That's not much at all especially given the accuracy of it. 
If I go back to those Karate Brothers, I am gonna tell them that fucking Mega Kick is bullshit and Mega Punch is probably the one to go with. But nobody could learn Mega, Mega Punch back when I was uh, chilling with those dudes, so uh, what do you want me to do? I still don't think anybody on my fucking team has hands. <laughs> Alright, goodbye, Fisherman, goodbye! With a better rod, I can catch better Pokemon. Yep, still wouldn't help you. <laughs> <laughs> the fishing fool versus Pokemon Kid! Wow, are we like in the Colosseum right now? God damn, nobody told me. Fisherman Hank has an Altaria. God damn. I've got something that can take care of that. Wah, 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 wah. And hand jump should level after this uh, fight as well. So he'll be level 28, and everybody else is 29 except for hand jump or tranny. Tranny job. The, the, the names of all the Pokemon on this team says more about me than I would like, I think. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're gonna see if we can knock this thing out with one blizzard. Yeah, trick! I, I can't remember what typing it is. I think it's dragon flying, and then there's a mega evolution that's like something else. <laughs> it's only like two times effective or some shit. I have no idea. I don't play with Mega Evolutions that much. Good job, Handjob. You're the best! You're the best! Well, Mr. Freeze got the kill, but... He's not my favorite anymore. I'm just kidding. I don't know who my favorite is. They're all my favorite, if you want me to be really honest. Anybody who's still alive. And also the ones that died. And also the ones that aren't on my team yet. Cubone's really my favorite Pokemon. If you want me to fucking name it, bar none. He is the one. I raised one to level 100 when I was like fucking in fourth grade or some crap like that. Because I was like, oh, it's gonna be awesome, the strongest Cubone ever. Well, it would have been stronger if I had evolved it into Marowak. But I was young and idealistic. I was just a teen, you see? And I'm put to sleep now. I don't have a chest of berry to wake me up, which is garbage. Fucking garbage. So I'm just gonna keep spamming Scratch until Handjob wakes up and scratches that thing in the face. And it should be able to KO it. That's two turns of sleep. It should last two to five. So we should wake up within the next three turns. He doesn't seem to be hitting me either, which is fortunate. There we go. Good job, hand job. Kill that thing. Mm hmm. I like it. I do. He's got a shell gun. What the fuck do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Oh, kill it. No problem. How big is its defense? Pretty good. Pretty good. He's got that focus energy, which actually uh, is going to make him crit. Or has a higher chance to make him crit. So I'm going to bring in Clam Slam. Because he cannot be hit. Crit. Hit? Crit? No. He can't be crit. He can be hit. But his defense is high enough that it doesn't really matter if he gets hit. Unless it's by, like, a really good special attack. If you fucking Mega Drain a, a Shelter, it's, it's over. <laughs> but Shell gone! Goodbye! Aurora Beam to the face. And, uh, Clam Slam gets a little uh, X XP, because he deserves it. Because he deserves it! And I'll bring Handjob back in here. It's a little tedious to keep switching back and forth, back and forth, but it is the safest way to level up your uh, baby, baby Pokemon, especially against uh, other trainers. Yeah, I'll tickle this thing. Tickle, tickle! <laughs> I guess I will use Tickle more than Tail Whip. It is a better attack overall because it lowers the attack as well as the defense. I thought it lowered the defense by two stages. But yeah, that, he's not doing shit to me now. So I uh, can scratch him to my heart's content. Actually, Handjob gets a giant crit in your fucking face. His brain just fell out from between his eyes. That was crazy, man. Marsh Stomp is coming! I am not too scared of Marsh Stomp. He's got pretty good defensive stats as well. But not too good to tickle! Tickle, tickle, tickle! Ah! Is a Handjob like a tickle? <laughs> it's a very special kind of tickle. <laughs> Uh, Marsh Stomp, use Foresight. No problem. You can do that if you'd like. I'm gonna see if I can scratch this thing. Yeah, we're pretty good. Pretty good amount uh, of levels ahead of it. So Water Gun, don't crit me, don't crit me. It didn't do that much, actually. 
I need to stop being a sissy, but after losing psilocybin, I'm just so cautious. <laughs> and level 29 for fucking handjob. The best, the best. He's like on the same level as Acorn now, which is pretty cool. I should switch maybe Acorn and fucking uh, use acid, but I'm not sure. Acorn might actually prove to be quite a boon once I do get a Leaf Stone and can evolve him or some shit. Let's see. Let's, uh... Yeah, we'll switch. Put Acorn in the front. He got that fake out. If I win, I'm gonna propose to Gia. Well, okay. Seems like a really horrible thing to base it on. Young couple, Gia and Jess. Oh, wow, it's gonna be a double. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, it's a Wobbuffet. Oh, no. Oh no 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 no! All right, fake out that fucking Wappa foot. We need to fucking plow that thing like as fast as possible. Fake it out and uh, bite it at the same time, and hopefully that'll be enough to kill it. Nope, that bite's uh, not doing quite enough. Fuck me, man. Oh man, it's gonna be bad. I think Wappa foot flinched. That's wonderful. Now what? Nature power, I guess, and we'll rock slide. Everybody! Everybody! Alright, Swift is gonna hit both of them. Boosh! And then rock slide. And since Swift is hitting the special side, rock slide's hitting the physical side, it's not gonna be able to, uh, oh, actually, it fucking KO the Anna with real good. But if Wobbuffoot uses uh, Mirror Coat or Counter, it's only gonna do, like, half damage, is kind of my thinking behind that. Uh, so he's gonna use Destiny Bond, which is not good for anybody. Fuck me, man. So if we knock him out this turn, he's gonna take everybody with him, which is not good. So I'm just gonna screw around with Fake Out and... Fuck! I guess we can dig. Can we dig? I don't know. I'm so scared to fucking knock this thing out. If I lose Acorn, I guess I can replace him with use acid, like I said, but I I don't want to lose anybody. This is fucking balls, man. <clears throat> so he missed Elvis with the Destiny Bond. So maybe if Elvis pops up on the next turn... I don't know. I just don't know. I'm gonna keep, keep Acorn from doing anything by using Fake Out again. Hopefully Dick's gonna fucking... Ugh. God damn it! So we basically have to sacrifice one or both of them. This is so unfair, dude. Fuck. Hopefully I can dig. Miss the Destiny Bond again. We'll see if that shit works out. I don't know. I could lose two Pokemon right here. God damn it. This fucking... This fucking shithead, man! Oh, he used Safeguard. Okay, kill it, kill it, kill it! Go, go, go! <laughs> fucking asshole! Ah! Lava foots. Piece of shit. Tranny could have fucking went around it really well. Oh please, why couldn't you let us win? Because you're a fucking asshole. Piece of crap. Ugh. So friends, um, I think I'm blocked off this way, yeah, by the Snorlax. So we're gonna head on back. We cleared this way out pretty good. We gotta go get the polka flute before we can progress any further. But uh, we caught hand job up. We fucking managed to skirt ourselves around that Wobbuffet, which I'm pretty impressed by. And, uh, yeah, I'm having a good time, as usual, with this Fire Red Nuzlocke. So I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. The comment section is open for your use. I hope you will, uh, write something in it, because I do respond to all comments worth responding to. And, uh, also, please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. Tell your family if, uh, they enjoyed the Pokemons, because they should, you know? Maybe I'll get them into it. The date does. So, I hope to see you guys in the next one, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Until the next one. Bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.